Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about percentiles for ungrouped data. So we have already discussed the different measures of positions. Uh, we call them fractiles. First, um, we discussed uh, the quartile, the decile, and right now, um, percentiles naman tayo. So at the end of this lesson, you should be able to accurately illustrate the percentiles of ungrouped data. Correctly compute the percentiles of ungrouped data and correctly solve problems involving percentiles. So, ano nga ba sabihin ng percentiles? Kung ang quartile, it divides a data set into four equal parts. Ang decile divides the data set into ten equal parts. Ang percentile naman from the word percent, okay, it divides a ranked data into 100 equal parts. Okay, 100 equal parts. Each set of data has 99 percentiles. So, hindi talaga 100, ha? it's 99 percentiles. Denoted by P sub I, where I is equal to 1, 2, hanggang 99. So, walang P sub 100. Although, it divides a data set into 100 equal parts, but just like um, quartile hanggang uh, Q sub 3 lang ang quartile. Ang decile naman hanggang D sub 9 lang. So, ang percentile hanggang P sub 99. Okay? So, the I percentile is located on the I over 100. Okay, percentile tayo. Times N plus 1 TH. Take note, TH observe it observation of a set of data when arranged ascendingly. So, meaning, pag nag-arrange tayo ng data, from lowest to highest. Okay? Lowest to highest. This is the formula for getting the percentile rank. Okay? Ayan. Okay, example. Find the 36th percentile rank given the data below. So, we have here... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. So, we have 15 observations, okay? 15 observations. So, P sub 36, um, we have N equals 15 data values arranged in ascending order. Ito naka-arrange na yan sila. So, 54 is the lowest and 78 is the highest, okay? And so, the 36th percentile or the P sub 36 is located on the 36 over 100 times 15 plus 1 and TH observation. Okay? So, solving that, this is uh, P sub 36. Okay? And so, solving that, we have 5.76 observation. Take note of the letters TH, meaning this is the position. Okay, this is the position. Now, take note that we have here 0. 0.76. Ma'am, saan banda yung 0. 0.76? Meaning, 5.76, it's between the 5th and the 6th observation. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's between 61 and 62. Okay, 5.76. So, in this case, we are going to use linear interpolation. Okay? Linear interpolation. Paano ba yan? Interpolation. Alright. So, paano yung linear interpolation? So, P sub 36 is actually equal to uh, 5.76 observation. And that is the fifth observation. Okay. Plus 0 0.76 times... Be it's between 5th and 6th, so the 6th observation minus the 5th observation. And so, what is the 5th observation? Balik tayo dito. The 5th one is 61. So, this is 61 plus 0 0.76 times. Ang 6th natin, 62. So, that's 62 minus yung 5th is 61. 61. So, that's like 61 plus... 0 0.76 times 62 minus 61, that's just 1. Okay, so it's 1 times 0 0.76, it's just 0.76. Okay, so the 36th percentile is 61.76. 
Okay, 61.76. Ang banda yan? Okay, 61.76. Of course, between 61 kung 61, tapos 62, and then uh, the 36th percentile rank is 61.76. So, dito siya banda. Okay. So, ito yung kalahati. So, it's somewhere here. Okay. So, 61.76 is the uh, 36th percentile rank. So, meaning to say, meaning to say, 36% of the observations, 36% of the observation are below 61.76. So, ano yung 36% ng observation? Meaning to say, eto sila. Okay? Eto yung 36% ng observation. Alright, so again, we call that linear interpolation. Let's try this. Example number one. Given a set of data with 999 observations, where does P sub 12 lie? Okay. Out of 999 observations, alin dun yung nasa 12th percentile rank? Okay. Alin daw dun? Right? To determine the location where P sub 12 lies, we use the formula I over 100 times N plus 1. So again, we go back to the formula of our percentile rank. And so, substituting, we have P sub 12. So, 12 over 100 times 999 plus 1. So, that becomes 1,000. 1,000. And so, 12 over 100 times 1,000, that gives you 120. So, therefore, P sub 12 lies on the 120th observation. So, yung ika 120th observation, yun ang 12th percentile rank. Okay, another example. Determine P sub 20 in the set of data below. So, determine the 20th percentile rank. Ito, hindi pa naka-arrange. Okay, hindi pa naka-arrange. Take note, when you want to determine the percentile rank or the quartile rank or the decile rank, you have to arrange the data set first in ascending order. So, meaning mauna tayo sa lowest. Okay? Arranging this, we have this um, arrangement of numbers. So, we have the lowest is 5 and the highest is 36. So, ilan lahat sila? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 times 4. That's 24. So, we have here, our N is 24. We are looking for P sub 20. Okay, P sub 20. So, ano yung P sub 20 natin? Alright. So, dito natin ilalagay. P sub 20 is equal to um, I over... O, diretsyo na natin kasi nag, uh, 20 na tayo. So, that's... Our I is 20 over 100 times... Okay. Yung N natin is 24. So, that's 24 plus 1 TH. Okay. So, actually, that's P sub I equals I over 100 times N plus 1 TH. This is the formula. Okay. Substituting, we have this. Alright. And so, solving this, we have um, 20... Uh, 20 over 100 times 24 plus 1 is 25 th. Okay, hindi mawawala yung th kasi we're looking for the position. Alright, so cancel out natin yung 25. Okay, so this becomes 4. Right, so 20 over 4 or 20 divided by 4 is 5. So meaning, we're looking at the 5th position. So P sub 20 is the 5th is is the fifth observation okay is the fifth observation and what is that so let's go back to our rank data so one two three four five so this is p sub 20 is equal to 10 